Hoy estamos feos, pero somos impresionantes. Sabemos hacer que hacer incluso la vamos a complete traffic chaos. Finally made it to uh, Mexico City and just checked in. We used the bathrooms and this place seems kind of labyrinthy. So I'll show you guys and tour if I can get there we go. So we got a pretty uh, sturdy deadbolt there. And there's Ryan again. And dining area, TV. Uh, not too much of a view. Strawberries, we picked those up along the side of the road from some random dude. Uh, let's see. And here's bedroom number one with uh, what appears to be um, different types of bugs. Oh, what's these? Oh, soap. Kind of thought they were snacks. Um, and here we have the next bedroom. The lamps are wine bottles. I didn't notice that. Bathroom. And this glass makes another appearance here in a moment. This is a pretty nice, pretty nice bathroom. So then we kind of backtrack. And the kitchen. And Ryan's laughing about something. So Ryan uh, started a business and he's growing plants to do experiments. Anyway, uh, this is the other side of that bathroom glass. And on the other side of the wall, is bathroom number two and this is quite the um, kind of like china bathroom and i say that because in my bathroom in china i could sit on the toilet and take a shower at the same time and then we go to bedroom number three actually there's not as many closets as i thought but you got that little thing and if it sounds like i'm worn out it's because the traffic that like I, I was the driver today, which was uh, not fun. Ooh, is that a phone? Probably calls down to the uh, yeah, concierge. Concierge. Yeah, but yeah. So that's this is the place we're staying at in uh, Ciudad de Mexico. Yeah. yeah, and no smoking. That's prohibido. And now we are going to relax and... There's ashtray right there though, there's two. What? There's two ashtrays right okay. there. Okay. So Maybe without the door open. Smoking is prohibido, but here's a couple ashtrays for you. So yeah, maybe it is with the, uh, the door closed. Yeah. Or maybe only out on the, uh, the patio, balcony, which... Uh, I don't plan on ever stepping onto. Yeah, that's so. what I was just thinking of like... Was that a catwalk? I mean, yeah, literally for cats. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not the human kind of catwalk. Yeah. <laughs> but we parked the vehicle and we're basically planning on not touching it for the rest of the freaking time we're here until we leave. So we're gonna relax, grab some food, chill, and uh, yeah, see what we can get into. <laughs> So it is our first official day in Mexico City because we didn't arrive until like five last night. 
six, something like yeah. that. We were exhausted. I made the apartment video really fast. So we're out exploring on foot and we uh, were just kind of looking around for restaurants and we noticed that traffic circles in Mexico City, it's more like an obstacle put in the middle of a big <laughs> yeah. slab of pavement. You really? see this? They just split. They're not going, they're, they're not circul circling it. They're just- And it has a light on every corner too, which kind of again defeats the purpose. Yeah, they're just avoiding it as if it's an obstacle. And when these cars go, you'll see them just try and go straight for that, even though there's traffic coming towards them. Yeah, I would have showed up here and been like, just do a normal traffic circle. If we had tried going through this, yeah, we we would have crashed. Yeah. Because we'd be like, oh yeah, traffic circle, well, you, you go, go through around like a normal traffic like everywhere else in the world, but even Rome and London, <laughs> like... Even Ohio. Oh, yeah, even Ohio, for God's sake, <laughs> even Akron. So yeah, so here you'll see probably that pink and white Bangkok looking taxi will... Oh, maybe not. Oh, they're not no. turning, but that black one. There, so that black one, see they're not using the circle as a circle he's going up against the oncoming traffic and that guy just cut way in front yeah perfect system this I know, like couldn't you just yeah this does not seem safe however look at all the freaking palm trees yay <laughs> So we're gonna do a bit of walking and exploring now. We ended up going to Starbucks for breakfast after I uh, trusted Ryan's leg by mentioning Starbucks like maybe twice. Yeah. <laughs> um, but oddly enough, we ended up meeting a guy not only from the U.S. but from Lorain, Ohio. So that was <laughs> that was kind of random. I'm also going to try one of these vanilla coffee con. Con Cafe Cokes. Okay. Look at this tourist over here taking pictures of food. Look at this guy filming guacamole. <laughs> It's wide, so it is actually getting quite oh, a bit. Oh, it is me? Oh, dude, super wide's crazy wide. This is, uh, these are made with green corn. That green corn oh, yeah. that Erica was telling us about. Well, there's, yeah, there's blue corn and green and a lot of different colors. Elote, let's call it that. Yeah, yeah. This one's fucking good. Delicious. Oh yeah, we didn't try the uh, spicy sauces yeah, yet. Yeah, I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> so if I'm not mistaken, least spicy? Oh, no. That's... I thought that was the most spicy. Because oh, I can see the habanero. seeds. Oh, maybe. Habanero doesn't have seeds, but it's powerful. <laughs> okay, so least spicy, medium, and most spicy. Like, crazy spicy, you said. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Is it spicy? It's not spicy at all. I'm gonna try this one. It'll be a psychopath. You will. You won't. You won't do it. You won't. Look how cute these spoons are. Oh, God. Just right on my thumbnail. Ooh, cool. this has a really nice smell to it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Spicy? Really good, though. I like habanero because it's one of the ones that's actually spicy but also flavorful. tasty. Yeah, it's actually well, not that bad. It probably sneaks up, probably builds though. The spice I, I wouldn't put that much in. Well, I'm not gonna dump the whole spoon. <laughs> scared the living hell out of me. <laughs> nine one one. What's nine one one? Where's Mercy? Somebody Some gringo just ate the habanero. <laughs> <laughs> he had a whole mini spoonful of it. And they're like a mini spoonful. <laughs> <laughs> Helicopter fall come flying in. Yeah, I'm not, uh, I need to right Sometimes they get mad at you, though. When you don't, when you do your own water. That's really tasty, though, honestly. That's it's good. surprisingly good. It's spicy as hell, but it's really good. All right, so we're now back in the main strip 
scope of the downtown area. We just finished eating and uh, we, Ryan's still not feeling great. His stomach's kind of getting uh, wonky. Yeah. My stomach's funny, but that's because I'm pretty sure I ate something spicy for breakfast, which I should know better not to do. I just need to like settle for a, it, cause we ate breakfast at Starbucks and I got a sandwich thinking it wasn't gonna be spicy. It was spicy. I just need to learn to settle for like chocolate chip cookie or a brownie or something. I just, I can't eat anything spicy for breakfast because my stomach's weird. Anyway, I noticed that there appears to be a mall over there. I also just noticed this is on super wide. I'm gonna fix that real fast. Okay, it's not on wide, it just looks wide. Anyway, so there's a Starbucks there. The Starbucks we ate at for breakfast was there and the Starbucks that we passed, you might be able to see between those two trees. So Starbucks, Starbucks, Starbucks. You might be able to see that one. It's right about there. So, uh, we're, I'm kind of interested in going over there, but I guess we'll see how Ryan feels. Nausea, heartburn, indigestion, upset stomach, stomach, diarrhea. diarrhea. Yeah. Need some Pepto. I couldn't find it. <laughs> All right, so I just got done walking down probably about half the length of the downtown area. Uh, Ryan ended up kind of going back to the Airbnb to lay down. He's feeling worse and worse. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's like traveler's diarrhea or uh, just pretty bad upset stomach. Um, I don't know if you can see behind me, but there's a building in the shape of a giant H. That was random. It was just a smart car with two big speakers on top of it playing music. Well, anyway, I uh, figured I'd stop here, take a picture of the building, and uh, shoot this video in front of it. Um, still not too sure what the plan is. We, If he's feeling better, we might go out tonight and walk around and uh, get some more food, but I have a feeling he won't be up for walking anywhere near as far as I just did. Uh, I might walk down a little bit further, but the city's starting to die out. Like this is the last, this one and that building there, and I think maybe one more after it are kind of like the last few skyscrapers before the end of the city. All right, so I walked a little bit further down and I'm kind of glad I did because there's this pretty cool, whatever that's supposed to be behind me, but that's not why I'm so excited. Aside from a couple of the buildings around here, What I'm not showing you is what I'm really excited about. This reminds me of the Patoxe uh, Arch in Vientiane, Laos, which I never got on video, but I got video from the top of it and I got pictures from all over. But, oh, and there's an elevator going straight up. Okay, so I'm gonna spin the camera around this is really cool. And yeah, there's an elevator. I don't know if you can see it on the video, but there is an elevator going straight up the middle of it. Hello. <laughs> I have no idea what that was. Oh. Ooh, and the sun's coming out too. Looks like there's some sort of restaurant down there. But this elevator reminds me a lot of the elevator in uh, Memphis, Tennessee, in the uh, Memphis Pyramid. 
today. The one is closed down right now. A bar in the aquarium and also a restaurant. So if you want to get a table, let me know. I'll be glad to see you. If you want to sit at the bar, it's so seated. Okay. Once we reach our destination, you will be hired in the Statue of Liberty. Oh, nice. Yeah, so it's definitely something a lot of people haven't been able to say yet. Um, once again, I don't think... No, I did get a little bit of video. But it's tall and glass and uh, scary. So I imagine this one's going to be scary when I eventually get on it. But like I said, that's probably tomorrow or whenever we have a clear day here. So it basically looks like if you've ever passed a, uh, a, a stall selling something basically anywhere in Mexico, it's all combined here into one area. Like I'm seeing stuff that I saw in uh, Guadalajara, in Morelia, uh, and other parts of Mexico City so far, but it's all been combined to like one spot here. And it looks like they have a, looks like they have like a subway system as well. And it, all the uh, stations here look pretty new. So it's a bus service, <laughs> these guys. And that CDMX that you see occasionally, that's just an abbreviation for uh, Ciudad, Ciudad de Mexico or Mexico City. And I keep pronouncing the X, it's Ciudad de Mexico. But that's what that CDMX means. So I'm not too sure what this is, but it looks... It looks kind of like some sort of a homeless camp, almost. I, I, I don't, I'm not too sure, but I don't really feel comfortable filming more than I just filmed because one of them kind of looked at me kind of funky, but that's kind of what it looks like. I just left the apartment. I was there for maybe, maybe an hour and a half or so and uh, called, uh, some family back back home so basically Ryan is is out for the count uh, definitely at least for t tonight the rest of tonight um, I was watching uh, TV and yeah it didn't sound good it's almost 10 o'clock I stopped at a 7-eleven picked up a Snickers and a fresh jug of water and our friend Liz, who we met up with in Guadalajara, actually told she that she only trusts Iperla. So I'm that's I'm kind of sick with that. I have been ever since she told me that. Um, anyway, I'm basically looking around to see if there's anything still open. Uh, the Circle K's look like they're closing. The 7-Eleven says it's 24 hours, but just like in Guadalajara, I'm thinking that they're open and someone's there but they only open like a small window um, I think I recorded some footage of that basically there's a window in the door that they slide open you give them you tell them your order well what you want and they bring it to you you give them cash or a card whatever and uh, that way just to keep increased security so I think I just found the uh, nightlife, night market combo area. Yeah. 
looks like a lot of the uh, street vendors are actually closing up, so it looks like everything might... It's not actually that much of a nightlife spot, but it's still pretty crazy. So that's the King's Casino. It, the shutters on the front there are pulled, but I don't think that's the main entrance. But yeah, I figured this probably wasn't the best area if there's a casino, but you never know. Either way, I'm gonna grab something to eat from a 7-Eleven like I was talking about before and take it back to the apartment, eat and go to bed, and hopefully Ryan will be feeling better tomorrow morning. But uh, we'll see. See ya.